Okay. Welcome to Community Member of the Week! This week's Community Member is Furbicorn! Welcome! Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And thank you for having me. Yay! So first, you're a streamer. Uh, tell me about your stream and the kinds of games you play. Uh, I am a variety streamer on Twitch. I do mainly video games. On occasion, I will do pixel art. I stream Ooh. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, times kind of vary up. Uh, just kind of depending on how my schedule is. Mm -hmm. uh, and the games I play kind of vary day by day. Tuesday, I do what I call Tactics Tuesday. So you'll find mainly strategy games, uh, anything that requires you to think a couple turns in advance. <laughs> Those are fun. Uh, XCOM, Fire Emblem, games like that. Uh, I just started doing, and this is the first week I'm doing it, Thursday, Sunday, I'm devoting those days to taking one game and trying to play it all the way through until completion. So that uh, could be like a 12-hour stream? Like a really long, long? not 12-hour, <laughs> uh, just because of my day job. Uh, those are generally, like the Thursday is generally about four hours minimum. On the weekends, it can be a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, but right now, I'm actually doing the original Shin Megami Tensei game cool uh, for that and then saturday is kind of my up in the air day mm -hmm. i finished up castlevania symphony of the night this past saturday oh. yesterday yesterday have you uh, watched the anime i have and it's amazing i've heard so many good things about the anime I if you like it. any of the older games you should watch it even if you don't still so watch it. is the anime based off the video game or the video game is based off the anime uh, Symphony of the Night is the closest game to the anime. Okay. The major difference is the Belmont that's featured. Mm. Uh, in the anime, it's Trevor Belmont, and I forget which game he actually shows up in. <laughs> uh, but in the game, it's Richter Belmont that makes an appearance. That's in Smash and is currently my main. Gotcha. Hey. So, a nice segue, what got you into video games, and why did you want to become a streamer? What got me into video games? Uh, honestly, the technology behind consoles in general. I got my first Game Boy Color or Game Boy whenever I was, like, four. Very first game was Pokemon Yellow. Vividly remember it. Love that series today. <laughs> Um, uh, what was your first console game? When did you get a console? Uh, handheld or home console? Uh, both. All of it. So, you, Game Boy was your first handheld, or? Game Boy or, or Game Boy Color, whichever one Pokemon Yellow was on, I forget. It's been... Forever. <laughs> 16 years. Yeah, right? Uh, so that was my very first portable console, and i my very first home console was a Nintendo 64 with Hey You Pikachu. Oh, so uh, was... I'm sensing a theme here. Lots of Pokemon. I did grow up with a lot of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> a lot of Pokemon. Right? I think Pokemon gets a lot of people started. And then, like, the Especially TV the show. Yeah, right? They had the card game that was, like, hot. A lot of things were happening with it. What was, like, so did Pokemon get you addicted to games? Or was it another game that you're like, all right, this is, the rest of my life is going to be dedicated to video games? Um, It was the intro into gaming for me. Uh, And like I said, I was like four or five at the time. Uh, I don't remember really getting into gaming until I think I got a GameCube and I got Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I never played Paper Mario. I didn't have a GameCube. I hear it's one of, like, the best Marios. Is that, like, your favorite one for you, or...? Uh, out of a lot of the RPGs I've played, it is definitely up there. Uh, <laughs> and I think that's why I like the Paper Mario... The first two Paper Mario games. I don't like any of the others. They're like, no, uh, garbage. <laughs> well, all the others went away from the traditional turn-based RPG and went really weird directions with it and i don't really care for how they went that direction um but it was just it was stress really for me because i grew up with a lot of anxiety and stress issues mm -hmm. and it was just a very nice get away from all of that 
Right. A lot of people use video games as an escape and they can just like focus in all of that like negative energy into video games and then like excel and do really well in them. So that's awesome that you found like a medium for you to to feel better, you know, because it's hard for sure. Yeah. And then to uh, kind of bounce off of what you were saying about getting me into streaming, um, I've only been streaming for three, four months now. Uh, oh, let's... congratulations. It's it's fun. It's so fun. Yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying it. Uh, Well, officially streaming for about three, four months. I've mm -hmm. tried streaming in the past, but previous jobs made it incredibly difficult. Right. Let's see. Yeah, I started streaming seriously back in November. No, that can't be right. Twitch, why, why are you lying to me? Yeah, I I understand uh, that, where you're like, what, what was that first date? What was back that? Back in October. Cool, wow. Probably yeah. a little bit late August, it's looking like. Mm -hmm. Late August, early October is whenever I first started seriously streaming, which is around the time frame I got my new job. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's just, I have a passion for gaming, and I figure, why not share that with other people? Cool. Uh, what um what other passions do you have? Like we can segue that into like nerdum and fandom and all those other things. What other when you're not focusing on video games, what are you watching? What are you reading? What are you into? Uh reading almost anything Stephen King. Uh all time favorite artists. I also have read a lot of HP Lovecraft's older works. Um uh, which for those of those, those of those who may not know, thanks, Spring. Um, those of you who may not know who H.P. Lovecraft is or haven't heard of the name, uh, Cthulhu, and that entire mythos. Hmm. Uh, I, a lot of his works I really enjoy. I like that dark, gritty, atmospheric stuff. Right. Um, watching. I haven't really watched too much recently. Uh, recently it's been a lot of speed runs on YouTube and. Uh, <laughs> That that's mainly what my watching has been consisting of outside of like a few animes here and there. Of course, the Castlevania anime that just wrapped up season two, My Hero Academia. Mm -hmm. Uh there's another good one on Netflix I watched recently that I cannot remember the name of. Uh Shojin, I think. Uh forget What's your favorite anime out of all the anime you've seen? Which is the one you're like, hands down, this is the best one. If you're gonna get into anime, watch this one. It'd probably be the one that got me into anime, which first impulse is to say Dragon Ball Z, but it's actually going to be Full Male Alchemist. Same Z's. Who's your favorite uh, character? Edward. Edward. I, Colonel Mustang is my husband, and I want to marry him, and I just know that we're going to be together forever eventually. <laughs> <laughs> one day. One day. One day. I love him. So what drew you to Ed? Uh the snarkiness and the very much i do my own thing i write my own future mm -hmm. uh attitude that he kind of had it's yes. like <laughs> yeah this thing's completely off limits but we're still gonna try it we're still gonna do it yeah <laughs> spoilers <laughs> probably should have said that beforehand no uh, um, a question from chat. Have you watched the Dragon Pilot? Uh, Dragon Pilot? No, I have not. Me either. I, I will be honest. I can't um, say I've heard of that. I want to watch more anime. I haven't seen a whole lot. I do love it, but I just haven't had the chance to, like, sit down and binge. You know, there's so many other yeah. shows, so many things going on. What about, so Stephen King, you, you, you're drawn towards those books, how do you feel about the movie adaptions? Are they good? Are they bad? Or are they just like, you don't even want to watch them because you love the world you created in your mind? And I haven't watched too many of the book or too many of the movie adaptations. Really? Uh, yeah, I don't think I've, uh, uh, which one is it with the weird worm things that tunnel under the ground? It was the TV, made for oh, TV. Tremors? Yeah. Uh, was it Tremors? I don't think it's Tremors. Oh, because Tremors is little worm thing. Is that down onto the ground? Yeah. I mean, well, Tremors is a meme his... at this point. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... I don't know if that's him, though. I'm not really sure. It's not Tremors. It's another one. Langoliers. Oh, I haven't seen that. 
uh it was a tv miniseries uh that was my first stephen king movie that i remember and it was actually not bad oh uh but outside of that i haven't watched it i haven't watched I've seen it. Dark oh Tower. i didn't realize it was stephen king it was stephen king <laughs> i had no idea actually no let me double check that let me fact check that but i'm almost positive i think you're right yeah it is it is stephen king Okay, I'll have to watch that. Also, Super Tyler says Dragon Pilot is on Netflix, so um, we'll have to check that one I'll out. To, yeah, yeah I, it. I uh, did watch Dark Tower. My boyfriend loves the Dark Tower books, loves them, but he hated the movie. And that's that's what I've heard, which is why mm-hmm. I've refused to watch it. Don't watch the movie. Apparently, it's not good. They're missing, like, tons of different concepts. Uh, But as a newcomer who's never read the books, like, nothing, I thought the movie was fine. But I guess there's so much more in the books that the movie was just like, nah, we're just just not going to write about that. Yeah, well, the Dark Tower series is seven to nine books if I'm not mistaken. And from what I remember hearing about the movie, they took those seven, nine movies and they just, or books and just went all into one movie. Just like crammed them in. Wow. Yeah. Which like completely ruined character development, Mm -hmm. uh, like important plot lines. Like who, who, who is who and why they're important. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Oh, but we have another question from chat from Ted Slackler. Or no, from Ted Sheckler. Uh, what is your favorite kind of pizza? Uh, that's a very difficult question because my previous job was actually as a general manager with Papa John's. And I've oh. been with them for four years. Congratulations, but you're no longer with them? Correct. I'm now a CAD CAM assistant at, uh, at a local dental lab. Dude, uh, what? That's awesome. Yeah, I get to make some 3D printers and... Uh, just like make like much, crazy stuff for fun. I pretty much um, mill and design crowns and bridges that fit in people's teeth or oh, teeth cool. mouth. Uh, but so I don't really have a favorite kind of pizza because I'm so sick of it. <laughs> you're like I'm over pizza. Okay, here. Yeah. If you're making a pizza at home, what toppings are you putting on it? Uh, well, actually, I'll uh, use a perfect example that I used to make whenever I would get pizza from like bring it home from work mm-hmm. uh buffalo chicken pizza with uh pretty much chicken poppers which are kind of like chicken nuggets cut up with okay. a barbecue sauce base Ooh. uh onions bacon jalapenos mozzarella cheddar on thin crust send it through the oven twice actually one and a half times is this your own creation or can we order this um you can order just about everything on that pizza still at most Papa John's mm-hmm. outside of the cheddar. They no longer have the cheddar. Oh. Nice. I want my boyfriend to try that so bad. It sounds so good. It I is can't a have it. Pizza. I realized that I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't ha- actually have cheese. It's really ironic. I mean, <laughs> you can have it. You'll just regret it. My tummy will hurt so bad. Dirty Dan's like macaroni and cheese pizza. Too many toppings. <laughs> um, someone wants to know, have you played Pokemon Stadium? Uh, for the N64, I actually have played Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh. It's been a couple of years, but I have. I've never played. I've only played Pokemon Snap. I'm guilty. Ugh. Uh, and Pokemon Go. <laughs> That's it. I can't stand Pokemon Go. That's like a... It's I want to like the new Pokemon games, Let's Go, and I just... You can't. can't. Have you Not... played Pokemon Let's Go, like Eevee or Pokemon, or uh, Pikachu? No, I haven't. Mm. I, like, I want to like them, but just having the Pokemon Go catching mechanic in it is just... It kills the game it for me. It ruins it for you? Oh. That and the no, the no true random encounters. It's the... Oh, we're going to show up on the map and you can choose to walk into us. See, that 
is what is appealing to me because what draws me away from Pokemon is like they're like go to this town and talk to this person and I'm like okay and then it's like no 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 and I'm like god damn it go away like I'm just trying to talk to this person like and it just does that over and over and over again and it's so frustrating yeah that's understandable uh, <laughs> I mean honestly I think if they were to like re-release Let's Go without the Pokemon Go catching I think I'd probably love it yeah oh or give you an option like do you want to use this mechanic or revert to classic like that would be cool if they yeah because i mean it's essentially a remake of pokemon yellow yeah oh Uh, Mm. yeah it's actually a remake of pokemon yellow which is why it's either pikachu or eevee as your starter and Uh, that was your first true game yeah it was my first true game, which is why I'm like, I want to like this. So this could be perfect, but it's not. Maybe if mm-hmm. you try it, you might like it. Maybe. I don't know. Um, not Too Social Worker says, what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh, yes. Nightmare Before That's Christmas. That's a good one. That's a good one. What about, okay, through all the genres, what is your favorite comedy? Favorite comedy? Ooh. Can't, I'm trying to think of all the comedy movies I've actually seen. I know it's hard. Or like favorite scary movie. Favorite scary movie, Alien. Okay, original with um. Original. Yeah, Alien's a good series. Like, even I don't know how many there are total, but like I never was like, all right, are we done with this? Like with Fast and the Furious, I'm like, how many are there? Like twenty? Like stop. <laughs> um. And what about your favorite? So that's scary, all time. There's comedy. Comedy, I'm trying to think of what I've seen. Or like romance. Do you have a, a romance? Oh. Uh, I haven't really watched too many romance. I think for me, it would be so. Princess Bride. I love Princess Bride so much. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I can say Princess Bride. Yeah, it's so I, good. I, it's one of the few that I know for a fact I've watched. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, solid movie for sure, and it's it's a classic, and it just yeah, kind of it's like it's very easily, it's pretty timeless. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because I mean, even if you go back and look at it now, it's not as scuffed as other movies mm-hmm. from the time. Yeah, no, it's it's it it lasted very well. I think it was like eighty eight, eighty seven, like somewhere in there, and so it's over twenty. It's over thirty years. And Let's it's, see. like, a solid... Ooh, Google it. That's what I like. 87. 87, yeah. So it's over 30 years, and it's... Like, people are still talking about it. People are still referencing yeah. it. That's how you know. People still recommend it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, what is your favorite type of food? Like, if you can... Uh, like, your favorite style of food, and then your favorite food in general. Uh, Favorite style... Italian. Ooh, that's good. Pasta. And that's my favorite. Anything with pasta. Actually, no, I lied. Anything with potatoes in it. <laughs> so, you like, give me a, a potato, I will love you forever. So, would your ideal dish be like some sort of Yankee dish where it's just a potato noodle and yeah, just deliciousness? <laughs> yes. You can you can probably give me a sack of potatoes and I will still love you. Just like here's your potatoes for Christmas and you're like yes. Exactly. <laughs> We're um, friends forever. It, yeah. Um. And to answer Super Tyler's question, I have seen the trailer for Detective Pikachu. Ooh, what do you think? It's interesting. I think it actually looks good. It does look right? good. Um. But it'll be interesting to see how everything gets played out right right because it's not like watching the trailer you're not quite sure is this aimed towards younger people is this aimed towards like really like people who like really gritty stuff like our age like because people are like all i hear is deadpool that's all i hear and i'm just like i think it's the perfect voice for pikachu like this like old like hey what up like <laughs> love it see and uh that's, <laughs> i love it one, that's one thing that i've heard a lot of people say they wanted more of was more of like a grittier voice than uh ryan reynolds right uh 
getting uh, I want to say Tom Hanks is the name, but that's not the person I'm thinking of. Oh, um, I can't think of anyone along those lines. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. uh, it'll probably come to me later. Uh, like, but yeah, uh, someone like really gritty, uh, like someone who's done detective movies in the past. Who's in um? Who's in Always Sunny in Philadelphia? The like famous actor that's in there he does a lot of mob movies um he's in matilda danny devito what if danny devito did the voice of pikachu (laughs) (laughs) i think that would make the artist who did the art for my stream just the happiest person alive (laughs) that would be funny that would be Uh, really funny yeah i'm just gonna plug him right now (laughs) uh does a very amazing pixel art uh it's done everything for my channel uh and actually drew his own version of detective pikachu that is loosely based off of danny devito dude yes oh my god i have to see this that that sounds awesome excuse me while i go to his twitter and pull this up for you yeah you can post links subs can post links so you can post it in chat um Dude, I bet that looks so good. So I know that you're into pixel art, uh, or like like into art. How did did he inspire you? How did you get into that? Uh, he actually, I've uh, a friend of mine recommended him to me whenever I was uh, starting streaming, uh, because I was looking for someone to do art for my channel to actually make it look nice. Mm-hmm. Uh. And a friend of mine recommended him to me because of his style and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, looking at his Twitter and everything, I fell in love almost immediately. I love that. There it is. There's Danny DeVito. (laughs) I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. All right. Uh, Oh, my God. (laughs) Dude, I like it. Look like it looks fluffy like that. Yeah. It, this is called 8-bit is that what this is called uh, what's this called or just pixel art it, this is just pixel art uh 8-bit like it. is a Different it depends on the style. number uh it's actually dependent on the number of colors oh i didn't realize that was a difference okay uh okay. one bit is you can only work with two colors two bit is only four colors uh three bit which i don't think actually exists i think it's one two four eight sixteen thirty two so on so forth it yeah. all is like multiples of how many colors you can work with oh i didn't realize that at all i guess i don't really know what 8-bit was i thought it was just like like processor speed or something i'm not sure <laughs> like it was like uh, computer related not color related <laughs> but uh yeah uh came across his channel around the same time i started streaming and uh he does almost nothing but pixel art streams he's been streaming a lot of super smash since it's come out uh, mm-hmm. then again it's who so really isn't that has a right? switch <laughs> uh, but he uh, uses a sprite and I've just been watching he does community quotes from time to time which mm-hmm. let me actually go pull that one up since the most recent one just got finished and I did two tiles in it myself uh, there's that one uh and just watching and hearing about these quotes made me Whoa. actually go out and get... That's uh, amazing! Yeah. Uh, the two that I've done is if you actually hover over my name, it will show you the two that I did for the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, dude! That's really uh, cool. And I am doing both of those on as a stream one day. Uh, got home from work and was just kind of like, all right, sitting down, cranking these out. Don't know how long it's going to be, but by the time I'm done, that's going to be the end of the stream. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Those look really good. Yeah, the, uh, but just hearing and seeing like some of the previous ones he did, I just got on to Humble Bundle, bought a Sprite, and just kind of sat down and started messing with it. Uh, so he kind of got me more into the visual side of art because mm-hmm. I've normally written poetry. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh. Uh, I don't have any of its. Actually, I may have one still saved and easy access, but it's not all that family friendly. Oh. Uh, okay. 
it's not the fam or the friendliest of yeah yeah that's not the most family friendly that's still cool that you write poetry what got you into that oh uh, i really don't know exactly what got me into it uh probably doesn't help that whenever i was in high school my sophomore junior and senior year uh teacher english teachers were both poets mm, so and so that probably influenced it right that's awesome to have like guidance from teachers and, and maybe even like write some stuff turn it in and then have them like really critique from people who are poets yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, my sophomore year English teacher is technically number one in the world. Whoa. Yeah. Or either world or country. I forget which. I think it's probably country. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, and I the only reason why I say technically is because he actually outperformed and outdid the number one at the time in a local competition. Mm -hmm. uh, but like he says it's not like he actually brings it up because he's never actually gone to get the official title uh, but he just happened to win uh against the number one at the time dude that's awesome <laughs> that's so cool is there anything else you want to say about you your stream yourself anything that you want our community to know before we wrap up our community member of the week um as my brain completely goes blank. <laughs> uh, feel free to come stop by uh, my streams. It's normally around no later than 6.30 Central on most days uh, whenever I do stream. Uh, generally on Saturday, Sundays on the weekends, I like to stream a little bit earlier and do a little bit longer streams, assuming my ISP doesn't act up. <laughs> Uh, cause that has been a big issue that I've been having recently. Mm -hmm. Uh, like getting one third of my speed speeds, even oh, though I'm hardwired. No, uh, that's, that it, sucks. That's frustrating. Yeah, so I've been fighting that. Uh, but there's that, uh, pretty much I'm always welcoming. It's not like we bite. Uh, I have a great community. In fact, I'm part of a larger community that. Pretty much helps others. That entire idea, but idea brain, if I, you can actually function right now. That Words? Means, yeah. <laughs> Words? What are they? What? Uh, is this I'm a part word? of a larger community that is actually supposed to all be. Bleh, slow down, Avery. Uh, Ferb, you didn't hear my name. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be about helping other streamers and people who want to get into streaming kind of help give them that start point. Wonderful. That's awesome. Uh, and that link is also on my Twitch to join. Uh, yeah, I gave you a caster command. Guys, I'd go follow that. Ferb. Uh, if you want to learn more about his community, if you want to join his stream, thank you so much for being our community member of the week. I appreciate you joining our community and then wanting to come on stream and be interviewed and have people uh, learn a bunch about you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I don't mind it. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. It's live on Twitch right now, but I'm going to post it on YouTube. So do the, I think they, the subscribe thing on the YouTubes. And uh, I'll put my Twitch links down below and I'll put Ferb's links down below into the art that he had mentioned. I will link those too. So thank you guys for joining. I appreciate you. Bye. Bye. Bye.